Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about knowing your support team. Hey everyone, Vince Lombardi said this, individual commitment to group effort, that's what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. That's what today's topic is all about, knowing your team, knowing specifically the people that support you. Jamin, what do you got for him? Uh, so your support team is the foundation for what you do. It's the foundation for the progress you make, it's the foundation for the new sales that you have, and growing your network. Your support team is the people that most people don't see up in the front lines, but they're the people that literally make everything work in the background. So invoicing, delivering everything else, your support team is crucial to your success in growing sales. And I think people who do this well take it to a personal level. They get to know people personally and get to know their strengths and weaknesses. For instance, I know that my co-founder does not like to receive voicemails, <laughs> so I just don't send him voicemails. I send him emails, I send him text messages, and by knowing that about him, it makes the overall team more efficient because we're communicating in ways that we enjoy. Even Josh and I as a team in creating this whole video series, we have had communication, uh, open communication in a sense to where it could be in a coffee shop or anywhere else, and when you have something, we have open platform communication, you have something on your chest or anything that you gotta work out, it's really healthy to have the, the or I guess you could say, have it prevalent that you know that you can just talk to that person at any time. So you want to make it a very comfortable relationship. Same thing with your support team. You want to make it comfortable and easy for them to be able to communicate with you if something's going wrong with your customers or if there's something that you can do to make their job even more efficient. I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's equally important that your support team believes in you as you believe in them. That That's the key to making everything go more smoothly. And if your support team believes in you and, and you're communicating in ways that they appreciate, they're more, more willing to help you. Um, they're more willing to go the extra mile in making everything work more efficiently. So again, we always say people like buying from other people, people like communicating with humans. The same goes with your support staff. Be a human being with them and they're going to respond in a way that makes everything better. Because remember too that your support staff interacts with your clientele on a different basis than you ever will. Accounting's going to deal with invoicing and the billing department. The warehouse and delivery, uh, your delivery team is going to be interacting with their people when they're installing furniture or having front lobby deliveries. They're going to see your customer on a regular basis. So make sure that you have a good communication platform with them as well. And I work on this every single day. I can't say I'm the best at it, but it's something that I'm trying to work on a day to day basis to check in with my support team and see how I can make my relationship with them and my client stronger. Yeah. So you, that's interesting. I don't have a delivery hmm. or install group. So how do you utilize? communication with them to help you in your sales role so I'm an outside sales I'm on the road a lot so half the time I'm not going to be able to go into the building and talk to them in person so my direct support staff whether it's a, a different department that's dealing with furniture or that's dealing with supply sales or even your billing department even calling or emailing them on a regular basis and like I said I'm something I'm working on a daily basis I'm not great at it but it takes time and just right. being conscious of it on a daily basis is gonna help so call them ch check in with your else staff before they install a project check in with them say do you have the information you need make sure you're available when they need you when they're on a project um, for your accounting check in with them maybe every week every other week maybe even at least once a month and say mm -hmm. hey by the way uh, are any of my clients behind on payment check in with your customer service team and say hey by the way is are people how often are they ordering online are there any red flags that I can help with today all of this check-in will, will for one build your relationship with your support staff but also is going to add value back to your support staff who supported you absolutely you can find out what people aren't buying so you can go in there and sell that you know exactly. complimentary products to take this a little bit further down the rabbit hole uh, I would even suggest getting some type of profile on the people that you work with mm. I've taken profiles like the Enneagram the Myers-Briggs disk profile PI all these are good good tools it's just finding one that works for your company but uh, just getting that much more information and those things aren't always a hundred percent right no. but it can give you a little bit of information about who you're working with and how to communicate with them better. Uh, below this video, I'm going to link to an awesome article and video by a good friend and mentor of mine. He talks about the difference between a noun person and a verb person. And it's amazing just
just knowing that one fact. And I won't even explain what a noun and verb person is because I want them to click the link. Look but, into uh, it. It's cool. It's cool. If you find out you're a noun person, you think about your work and act towards your work in a different way than if you're a verb person. So check and, that out. And our company as well, the one I work in right now, they actually did take a personality test about a year, maybe two years ago. And just knowing those tidbits, like I said, nothing's completely accurate, but knowing the tidbits of if people are more open to direct, direct communication or over the phone or email or more soft communication, that goes long, a long, long ways to communicate uh, effectively to your team. So I completely agree with that. Absolutely. We'll sum this up for him. So a couple summary points from today's topic about knowing your support team and checking in with them and communicating with them is remember your support team interacts with your customer based on a different level than you ever will. So make sure your relationship with this, them is strong and check in what the status is with your customers right now on a regular basis, either bi-weekly or at least monthly. I would at least recommend bi-weekly um, or even weekly. Consistently communicate with your support staff. So if you could check in minimum once a week, even every day, the more does not hurt. Just check in what's going on in their lives. What are they dealing with? What are the red flags? Mm -hmm. Take care of them and grow your relationship with both your support team and your customers. Check in and ask about pain points with customers. So like I said, check in with your billing department and your warehouse crew. Check in on what, what uh, the negatives are that they deal with on a daily basis and see if you can eliminate them. Love it. We'll see you next week. See you guys. Hair. I'm fine. Hair. Cubs win. C Cubs, Cubs win. win. Cubs win. Cubs win. Got a one, two, and a three, and a four. Can you stop the GoPro? Mm.